before. Oh, yeah. Now we're rolling, Damage Plan MMA Podcast. I'm Jason, back with my special guest, Mr. Justin Simmons, from the other side of the Beehive Podcast. Hey, What's up? What up? Hey, for you guys listening, if you haven't checked them out, go check it out. The other side of the Beehive Podcast. These guys support local fighters. They're all about it. Justin's a huge MMA degenerate like myself and Zach. So go go support these guys and uh, and give them guys a li- give those guys a listen. Believe it. Thank you, sir. And we got another fighter spotlight. Yes, sir. And this one is with Mr. Justin McDonald, the current 170 pound champion who is going to be fighting this Saturday night at the Steel Fist Fight Night. Yes, sir. You're going to be beating up my, well, trying to beat up my podcast host on Saturday night. It, you're it, you're it, tiptoeing. It <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're going to beat him up. You're not going to beat him up. I don't know. You guys are going to beat each other up. We'll put it that way. You're going to beat each other up on Saturday there night. We go. <laughs> Yo, is, uh, is it just me? This is going to be an amazing fight, dude. This is going to be a it, banger. It, it should be. I mean, you know, uh, as soon as I got done with my fight in March, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm just going to kind of go hit the gym, you know, maybe once or twice a week. And then all of a sudden, Pat hits me up, you know, oh, hey, you know, July 31st fight. I'm like, <laughs> you're giving me three months? Yeah. I'm like, who's it against? And he's like, Zach Partridge. I was like, he fights 185. Like, what made him come down to, to 170? And uh, he told me, and I was like, well, I mean, Zach wants to fight. He wants to sign a contract right now. I guess I'll put down my beer and <laughs> go train tomorrow. So, been trained for three months now. Nice. You, you, your last fight we saw you in there, you went all five rounds, right? With yeah, Zach's I, teammate, Brody. I, I mean, I, I felt re- ready, but, I mean, the whole code thing, the whole layoff, you know, we had a plan, and then it just kind of like a big rush just hit me. And I was like, shit, I can't really get what I want to get done. You know, I, j- I just felt that rust. And right. I felt now that I just, you know, been in there since last March, you know, now – that rust is knocked off. So now I feel like I can do what I fully want to do this time. But I was going to ask you, you know, three fights into your career and then bam, COVID hits. Right. And so now yeah. you've busted it, you know, two more out. You are starting to get back into the groove of things. You're starting to really feel it again, put it together. I, I actually do. And, uh, you know, was that Zach's a Southpaw? He's actually the first Southpaw I will fight. Really? And so, Yeah everybody else has been ortho. So, you know, in my head, I'm like three months. I'm like, okay, Zach's Zach Southpaw. Like I've got to relearn everything instead of just an eight week span. Like, you know, what they usually give people is eight weeks. Well, I got three months, Yeah. you know, and now it's like, okay, I don't have to really look down at somebody's feet when they're trying to switch. Now it's just all one fluid motion. I know if they're going to be in Southpaw or ortho, just because we've been getting ready for that, just in case if Zach does, switch to ortho i'm not sure if you can or cannot do that but you know i i just want to be ready for that as well yeah what i mean have you i, I think i'm if i'm not mistaken you guys have fought on the same car before right so what what have you yeah. what have you seen from zach i mean obviously you um, guys are both coming in here and, and from what i've seen of you you've gotten better every fight what i've seen of zach zach's gotten better every fight what what are you expecting from from zach um, I, I know he's a blue belt in jits, so I definitely have got to be careful if we do go to the ground. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> <I'm> uh, <sorry. laughs> so, I mean, you know, I, I've definitely been working, uh, defense on that. Uh, I've actually got Phil Henderson. I begged him for weeks and weeks to get his ass to come, to come train with me. And I finally got him off the couch. He's been here with me for uh, quite a while now, teaching me some old tricks and uh teach me some old submissions that you know none of these new guys have seen so you know if it does go to the ground i do have that in my back pocket to pull out some old submission moves that i can use and yeah um if i can't get him down i've been working on my stand-up i i guess we'll just stand there and bang so i um heard he wants a bloodbath so if we can't get each other down to the ground i guess shit let the blood spill I, I know well, he's talked about that quite often on the podcast. He's and he well, maybe he's not said it publicly on the podcast, but he's told me in private. He's like, I want one of those. I want one of those dog. You know those dog fights. He said it on our podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he said. He said, I, I hope we just go down in blood and just dog it out, man. Well, I, 
I, I guess we'll. I guess we'll try then. So a little little trick idea. little trickery there though, baby. Oh. Let me bang, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're uh you're a heavy wrestler, right? Am I correct? Correct me if I'm I wrong, am. right? Heavy wrestler fighter. Um, going into this fight camp, I mean, you said you've been working on some jujitsu, is but has that been like the the main focus? Obviously, you're always working on your hands and everything, but uh have you really focused on that this camp? No, I I've I've been uh trying to brush up more on my wrestling. My wrestling didn't quite work out for me in my last fight. Uh I watched the tape and I was like, wow, man, I, I was rusty as all hell. I, I went in there like Frankenstein COVID man. Everybody COVID, was, everybody was a little, <laughs> yeah, that was like I, the first I, fight back, man. Mm -hmm. I know. So, so I, I watched, I watched the film. I was like, damn dude, Frankenstein, Frankenstein. I'm like, what the hell was I doing? And I'm like, okay, you know, that's probably just COVID rusty, you know, the, the hype of it too, after, you know, a, a year layoff. Yeah. And so I, I've still been working on, you know, my wrestling, more jits just because I know, like I said, Zach's a blue belt and jits, so I've got to be careful with that. So I need to know defensive size of that as well, just in case he does get me in something, I can get out of it. Yeah. Standing up, you know, I haven't really stood up with a lot of people. It's more I'll just sit back, let you do you, and then I'll find something, then I'll shoot in on you. But this time it's like, okay, you know, I do need to work better on my stand-up game just all around. So that way if one thing doesn't work. I have at least something that'll help me out until I can get there. So it's a banger of a card, man. I'm like, Oh, it is. I'm so excited, man. So excited. So say, uh, say this goes good for you. Say you get a W, right? Yep. Um, that puts you six and oh, right. It does. Um, I know before you've said you've, uh, you know, you, you, you would consult with your camp uh, before you go uh, pro, but I mean, do you think this one would put you over the limit? I mean, Zach's the man, right? Zach's a I tough mean, opponent. He he definitely is, and uh, I mean, my coach he's kind of brought it to me like in the beginning of the camp. He's like, okay, this is the only time I'm going to bring it up to you. We will think about going pro after this fight, and he's like, let's be the end. Let's not even think about that right now. Let's focus on this fight. After this fight, then we'll sit down and talk about that good yeah you know, it's nice. not really there really hasn't been talked much about so so justin your 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 head coach is uh, jake paul right yes but you're also down there at slc muay thai with cole schaefer and the nod too right oh yeah yeah what's it like what's it like getting in getting in work with with cole uh, dude <laughs> i mean when when i'm there sparring i kind of look around i'm like all right <laughs> and I kind of dodge him a little bit, you know. I mean, my first time sparring with Cole, I, I just, I just did my style, just, yeah. just rush. Big mistake on Cole. You do not want to rush Cole. I mean, he'll put you on your ass. Yeah. And um, then I started watching what other people would, would do, and uh, I just kind of noticed they would kind of sit back, you know, and wait for their opportunities, and then I would go in there. And then Cole kind of picked something a part of mine and keep doing and doing and doing it to me. Just the same thing over and over. And then he finally stopped midway of sparring. He was like, hey, correct this. You know, do this. Yeah. And then he would throw it and I would start doing it. He's like, okay, good. Now here he goes again, attacking something else of mine that he noticed. So he's been a big help as well. Uh, a nod. Great dude. I mean, I know he's big. He looks scary. But, I mean... When I roll with other people, he'll yell just to get your attention. It's not like he's mad at you, but he's like, no, no, stop, stop. He'll put you back in the position that he saw you in, and then he'll do something, you know, be like, no, you want to go this way with it. This is what you want to do. And then he'll put you back to where you almost messed up, and then he'll be like, okay, now go, and you do as he says. He's like, that's perfect. So he's been a big help as well. And then obviously you got Phil down there, who's like the encyclopedia for MMA. If oh, you guys man. haven't listened to our podcast with him, go give that oh, a listen. Yeah, I mean, every day. I mean, I, I work with him down in Maple Mountain. I'm, I do security for him down at his bar. And so when he's down there, you know, he'll kind of pull me off to the side if it's, you know, a little slow and we'll just go over some stuff. You know, pull up <laughs> nice. a little video of something. It's like, okay, now look at this. You know, this is how you remind me of how – you fight with this person. So he's been really helpful with that. Just, 
just all around just helpful. We we met Phil's doppelganger on social media. I did on Facebook. There's a guy in Ohio, shout out Adam, who reached out to me about getting some fighters on. He's an athletic trainer back there and trained. So he's an old school guy like Phil and just full of stories. And I'm I'm texting Zach and I'm like, this guy's like the Phil Henderson of Ohio. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, he's he's great to talk to, man. I love Phil. Love the knowledge that he brings and, and what oh, yeah. he brings to just our local community. It's great to have a guy like that. Um, oh, it definitely is. Yeah. Very nice. So July, July 31st, um, what's, uh, g- give us a prediction. You know how this works. <laughs> you got to punch him one time for me. Cause he's always you know, picking I, on me, Justin. I, <laughs> okay. You know, I'll, I'll hit him one time and I'll just kind of look somewhere. And as soon as I hit him, I'll just kind of look, just, j- just so you know, that's, that's for you, Jason. Um, Appreciate it. Throughout the horns, I, y'all. There yeah. you go. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I could really see this going anywhere. I mean, we both, I mean, he could give me a submission the first, through the first three rounds, you know. Uh, I could take him down, you know, you know, just, I, I really don't know. It's it's hard with Zach. Just, I mean, he's 4-1 and one on 5-0. and oh. You know, it, it's going to be hard because we're, we're both going to go in there because a, a belt's on the line. Yeah. You know? yep. But at the same time, I don't think we both want to overthink it but okay, this is what I want to do this round. I want to knock him out this round because then when that round comes, that's going to be on your mind. Yeah. And so as my coach says, you know, just, just go in that round, whatever it gives you, that's what it gives you. Just take it. Yeah. So it's great, great advice. You know, I, I, I just got to go with that. I think the thing that's so intriguing, which I touched on in the beginning is, is just, it's kind of the unknown factor with both of you guys, you know, Zach's he's dropping, Zach's dropping down from 185 to 170. He is. You've, you've improved every fight that I've seen you fighting. So it's like, what are we going to get from both of you guys on Saturday night? It just, it just brings that much more excitement to this Uh, fight. Cause it's like, we don't know what we're going to get. Right. Exactly. I mean, I've had a lot of people, you know, they're like, what's going to happen. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, this is Zach's first time dropping down to 170. Yeah. You know, I was like, I, you know, he's got a good nutritionist, so he's good. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I I really do do hope that he makes weight, you know, he's healthy with it and all that. And we can just go in there the next day and just put on a good show. That's really what I want. And I know that's what Zach wants as well. We we got the weight part dialed in. I know a guy. (laughs) (laughs) He looked good Tuesday when I saw him. He looked good. Hey, there's, there's Phil. Yeah, Phil. <laughs> Speaking of Phil. <laughs> so Justin, do you do you have tickets left? How do people get how do people get tickets? Or are you sold out? Yeah, I think I have maybe three GAs left. If that, maybe three, four. I, I mean I would have to go look in my bag, but I don't have a whole lot left. I mean, Phil bought most of my GAs from me. So I think I maybe have four. I would say tops five GAs left. That's another thing about this fight. You guys both bring probably two of the top crowd bringers in Steel Fist. You guys both bring crowds. Your last fight, you had a huge crowd. Zach's always bringing a huge crowd. Right. It's going to be electric when by the time it gets to the, because I mean, the whole card is just stacked with killers. And then you get oh, to the main is. event. So the place is going to be packed. It's going to be rocking. Um, yeah. What a what a beautiful thing to hear that nobody has tickets right now. How great is that? Oh, it, it, it's great. It, it really is. I'm I'm actually kind of glad that you know Zach sold his tickets out. I got, well, like I said, maybe five left. You know, out of all the tickets that I got, and we're the main event. So no matter what, we're gonna have a big crowd. No matter what, for that main event, doesn't matter if people leave just because they came to see a fighter. Yeah. You know, right. Okay, let's leave. It's well, not. Yeah. Man. You're you're gonna miss if you're if you leave you're you're gonna miss I'm, out because I'm sorry. literally top to bottom this card is there's killers on this card. Um, I posted the link on there www.blitztv.blitz.tv. Uh, blitz. I keep saying blitz.com. Blitz.tv. <laughs> Get on the pay per view. Watch this card. Support these local fighters. Justin, do you have any sponsors you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, uh, I got Diversified Coatings, uh, Jets Tire Pros up in Layton. Uh, CW uh, Fabrication Welding, 
uh, I wish you would whiskey. Uh, and then, uh, my new one that's doing all my shirts now, uh, um, relentless empire. So those guys are, are doing great. And then, uh, also maple mountain bar and grill where I also work at. So Heck on the yeah. weekends with Phil, so, Very nice. you know, we'll, we'll go down there, you know, win or lose, we're, we're still going to go down the bar and have a kick-ass time down there. So, you know, I, I told, I told Zach after the, <laughs> you probably heard it on, I don't know if you listened on the podcast, but I'm like, you need to go wear the Khabib hat and go down to the bar after the weigh-ins and say, tomorrow night, I'm going to smash your boy. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided it was probably not a good idea to go down there because he might right. not make it to the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Probably you know, not a good idea. If I saw Zach come down with the Khabib hat like that, you know, I would probably end up la- laughing give, my ass off. Like, Zach, let's get a picture. Like, it's I don't like, let's, let's get, get a, a picture. picture this is funny. It's just me instigating stuff, man. So, I, I love both you guys, man. I'm a, I, I'm super excited. Yes. Justin, anything else? You could, anything? You got anything? Yo. Uh, uh, just, oh, start. Uh, what, Justin, no, right? No. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which one? Oh, <laughs> this is you, buddy. You go ahead. Uh, no, I just, you know, I just want to put on a good fight for everybody. And, you know, I just want to put all my cards out there with this fight. And, you know, whoever wins is, you know, definitely deserves it. So that's why I see it. It's going to be a banger. That's for sure. It's going to be a banger. Saturday night, baby. Steel fist. I guess we're out of here. That's it. That's the end of the podcast. Justin, we'll see you Saturday night, man. Actually, I'll probably see you Friday. I'll be at the weigh-ins, brother. Sounds good. Okay, man. All right. Go kick. Go. Uh, go give Cole a nice little leg kick. Mm-mm. <laughs> we'll no. see you. See you Friday, brother. We out. <laughs> see you, boys. <laughs>